Hi, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn how to make creative photo strips effect in PowerPoint 2013. The photo strips effect you will learn to create today will allow you to take a photo like this and make it into a beautiful effect like this. You would be able to take a simple picture like this and convert it into a poetic masterpiece like this. The best part is, it is extremely easy to make this beautiful effect. Let me show you how to create this effect from scratch by going to a new slide. Here I am on a new slide. The first thing I am going to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu. Under Rectangles, I am going to pick up this tool called as Rectangle Tool and I am going to draw the rectangle. So this is going to be the piece that holds the main part of the photo. Then. I'm going to go to Auto Shapes menu once again. I'm going to pick up the Rectangles tool once more and I'm going to draw a fairly thick rectangular bar like this. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D and I'm going to keep it right next to it and I'm going to click and drag from the corner and make it into a slightly smaller rectangular bar like this. Yeah, that looks good. Now I'm going to make a copy of this piece and I'm going to click and drag from the corner and make it somewhere like this. And I'm going to make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D and I'm going to make finally a thin piece like this. Now I'm going to click and drag to select all these pieces together. Go to Arrange, Align and say Align Middle so they all are in one line and then I'm going to make a small adjustment to make sure that they all look like these pieces are one behind the other. Now this looks beautiful. Now with one side of this done, I'm going to click and drag to select these four pieces. I'm going to press Ctrl G to group. I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate. I'm going to go to arrange, rotate and say flip horizontal and I'm going to place this to the other side approximately in the same distance as the first one. I'm going to right click, go to group and say ungroup and I'm going to ungroup this side as well. Now with all these pieces in place, I'm going to select them all together, go to arrange, align and say align middle so they are all in one line. I'm going to press Ctrl G to group them Go to shape outline and say no outline. Then let me go to the photo that I would like to fill this particular group with. So this is going to be the photo that I want to use. So I'm going to right click on this and say copy. Now what this does is it puts this picture into the clipboard of the computer. Now all I need to do is to pick up this group and fill it with the photo that I have in the clipboard. For that, I have to right click on this group, go to format shape, go to the fill option here, go to picture or texture fill, go to clipboard and there you have a beautiful photo strips effect in PowerPoint 2013. It's a useful trick to learn so you can create contextual title slides for your business presentations. I hope you really enjoyed the beautiful PowerPoint tutorial you learnt just now. If you did, I have a wonderful treat for you. I've put together a useful mini training called Learn 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas to make your slides slick and interesting. If you're a business presenter, like say you are a business owner, a business executive, a trainer or a consultant, you will find this mini training absolutely useful. You can sign up for the mini training by clicking on the button here. You can also sign up for the mini training by clicking on the link in the description area right below this video. So go ahead, click on the button here and sign up for the mini training to take your business presentations to a whole new level. I'll see you inside the mini training.